do a burnout. Just kidding. Before we start this video, one, yes, I am sick. My, my voice sounds funny, I know, I'm sorry. It's just how it is. Two, ignition tube stickers have been selling really well. Snapbacks have also, I've, I've sold like two snapbacks in the past week, which is great. So if you're looking for ignition tube apparel or merchandise, the link's always in the description. Just letting you know. Today we're gonna talk about my Forge Short Shifter. Now this is one of my favorite mods that I've done to my car. And it got dark, get brighter. Now this Short Shifter is one of the favorite mods that I've done to my car. And I know there's about six million different brands of Short Shifters out there. It just so happened that my friends at Speed Life Motorsport had this one in stock, so they sold it to me. That's how I chose Forge. Honestly, I think any of the Short Shifters probably work really well. What I like about the Forge one is that it has anywhere from a 0% reduction to a 40% reduction that's infinitely variable instead of like set points. So it was super easy to install. Powan and I installed it. Actually, I installed it with Powan kind of watching and working on his car at the same time, which means it's really easy to install. Um, all you have to do is take the battery out, the shifter linkage is right there, and then you gotta pop a couple things out, put a couple things on. Bunch of tutorials online, really easy to do. Like I said earlier, it's infinitely variable from zero to 40% reduction. I just went ahead and turned it all the way up to 40%. And honestly, when I put the short shifter in my car, I couldn't really feel a difference. Like, I mean, it was a little bit notchier, but I didn't really notice it until I drove with it for a week or so. And then I drove my buddy Alex's GTI, and I was like, oh my lord, like, I felt like I was throwing the shifter like this. So, yeah, like this. I can't believe I just did that. It does make a very noticeable difference. The first thing is you'll notice the shifts are a lot notchier. Now, I don't have shifter bushings. I have the stock shifter bushings with 129,000 miles on my car. But when I pop back into gear, it's a very satisfactory click into gear and click back out. So you definitely know you're in gear. This is kind of a problem if you're trying to shift quickly. Um, if you don't get it exactly right, you're probably gonna you know, get one of the shift gates and end up in neutral. I've done that a couple times, especially on the second to third upshift. My main reason that I was against a short shifter for so long is because on these cars, the revs hang for so long. When you shift gears, for those of you that have Volkswagens, you know, for those of you that don't, when I put the clutch in, it takes a while for the revs to drop back down. So I was always thinking there's no point in getting a shorter shifter because I'm not gonna speed up my shift time because the revs are dropping so slowly that you have to shift slowly to have a comfortable ride regardless. But as soon as I got the short shifter, I was like, oh man, what was I thinking? What was I missing? It just makes you feel more connected. It's got that nice notchy feel to it. I know I've said notchy like six times now, but it's really nice and coming down through the gears here to this red light, I you know click in a third, click back in a second, it's just, it's such a nice smooth motion and the shifter is so short and it's just, it's a, it's a really great mod. And my favorite thing about the short shifter and my favorite thing about little mods like this is that you can use them every single day. You know, if you go big turbo or something like that, you can only use that on an open stretch of road. You can't use that when you're in traffic or something like that. A short shifter is something that's gonna benefit you every single day because you're in a shift when you're driving, period. I guess in summary, what I'm trying to say is the short shifter is a great investment. It, they're fairly cheap. They make the car feel real different, especially when you're shifting. It's just, it feels so much better. I don't know really how to describe it besides notchy. And it's just, when you're in gear, you know you're in gear. Before it was kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna send it over that way and hopefully it'll pop in a third. There's really no downsides to the short shifter as long as you get used to that notchy feeling and you're not just trying to bang through the gears. And again, it's something that you can use every single day. It feels great. Every time you shift, you're like, wow, this feels nice. Even when you're just dawdling around town. And I guess it does technically make your shift times faster, probably. Um, but there's really no point in shifting real fast on these cars because the revs hang and it's just uncomfortable. Unless you're trying to go drag racing in your GTI all the time, which uh, might have might want to buy a different car if you're, if you're trying to go drag racing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review video. Take it easy, go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video.
That's how you shift. 